In this video, we're going to take a look at how we can create custom keyboard shortcuts in AutoCAD. Before we look at their creation, let's clarify what a keyboard shortcut is. A keyboard shortcut is when you press something on your keyboard and something automatically happens. It is not, for example, when you type L and press enter for a line. That is actually called an alias. So it's one in which we don't actually have to press enter. For example, control P will open up the print dialog box. Control S will save the current file. There are even some overrides as well. For example, if I'm drawing a line, I can hold the shift key and it will lock on to the ortho angles. So these are examples of shortcut keys. To create a shortcut, I'm going to first open up my CUI dialog box. So I'll type CUI and press enter. Then in my customizations section, I'll locate keyboard shortcuts. I'll go ahead and expand it. And as you can see, there's the two different categories. There's the shortcut keys, such as control P to print. And there is the temporary override, such as holding shift to draw an ortho. I'll go ahead and expand the shortcut keys here. Next, I'll find a command that I want to create a shortcut for. So I'm just going to choose array. Let's say that I use array a lot and I wish I had a keyboard shortcut for that. I'm going to drag the array command up here into my shortcut keys section. And now you can see it appears here. Next, I'll come over to the properties and here I can put in what keys I will use for this. So I'll go ahead and press the three dots here to open up the larger dialog box. And I'll try something, maybe control A. As you can see, control A is not a good one because it's already assigned to select all. So I'll delete that. Let me try control shift A. I can see that that is currently not assigned. So I can go ahead and click OK. And I've now created a keyboard shortcut to start the array command by pressing control shift A. Let's test that out real quick. I'll just draw a simple shape here. I'll select it, control shift A. And as you can see, it started the array command. So it's giving it to me in the command line. I can go ahead and decide if I want a polar or a rectangular. And there you can see that the array command has been started. So once again, to create a keyboard shortcut, you just simply need to drag that command into the shortcut area and then assign the keyboard shortcut itself. That concludes this look at creating keyboard shortcuts in AutoCAD.